I'm pleased to introduce tonight's first speaker, speaker Ahmed Al-Rawi. Ahmed is an assistant professor in the School of Communication, and he's going to be presenting his research on fake news disc discourses on Instagram. Ahmed has been studying uh, social media and news for over five years and has published many peer-reviewed research papers. He's introduced the concept of News Organizations 2.0 and examined several aspects of news production and consumption practices in his career. Some of the, the conceptual issues that he's covered include viral news, news values, selective exposure, gatekeeping, agenda setting, and celebrity journalist 2.0, one of my favorite subjects. So without any further ado, please join me in welcoming Ahmed. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. So I'll try to be quick. I have only five minutes. So uh, my research, as uh, Joy mentioned, is about uh, fake news discourses on Instagram. And just to tell you the story behind it, I started uh, doing research about uh, fake news discourses on Twitter. Basically, I was interested to see how, what people say about fake news on Twitter. And uh, I published a few studies on that, and I found, I found a lot of polarization when it comes to fake news discourses. I, I uh, argued here that uh, fake news as a term has been weaponized by certain political figures, mostly Trump, in order to uh, attack his opponents and, uh, uh, of course, attack anyone who would uh, criticize him. But it was not only Trump, also the left used uh, the, the, you know, the, uh, the term fake news in order to attack also their own uh, you know, uh, opponents as well. So uh, I turn now my attention to Instagram, and uh, I'm going to share with you the preliminary findings of my research here. So uh, I um, adapted um, a Python code, and uh, I, I managed to uh, download about half a million uh, Instagram posts. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the um, uh, frequency of these posts regarding fake news discourses on Instagram. Uh, I was very curious because usually Instagram is not really uh, well studied. Uh, most of the attention has been on Facebook as well as uh, Twitter, but less uh, on Instagram, probably because they think it's just uh, for uh, young people. But I, I found something else, I, I, as I, I will share today with you. <clears throat> Uh, I used a few uh, computational methods as well to figure out what was going on, including topic modeling. Uh, these are my research questions. Probably I will skip these ones, uh, a bit boring, but I, I wanted to see the, uh, the nature of the top Instagram posters, and here specifically, uh, who posts most uh, regarding fake news. And um, yeah, uh, so this is like a, a, like a visual, visualization of the um, uh, Instagram post, and uh, especially the, the hashtags. Of course, fake news comes first, but uh, you notice CNN has been repeatedly mentioned here, and I noticed that there has been a lot of attacks against mainstream media, mostly by Trump and by Trump's followers. And uh, it's not, it was mostly CNN, followed by CNBC, as well as ABC, uh, and less voices were uh, against Trump, uh, as well as Fox News. So again, uh, the, the bigger the, the font means the more recurrent the terms are used in the, in the posts. So in, in this will show you, or will give you an idea that it's not only Trump followers, but also uh, those from, from the left uh, attacking Trump as well. So it's just like I would uh, call it uh, like a war. And they actually use the, the word meme wars because they use images to attack each other or to demean each other. Um, yeah, so basically, Instagram, I'm arguing here, is being weaponized by different parties as well as followers. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, it's, again, the problem is not being researched enough. Yeah, so that's the theoretical uh, part. I'm going to skip because it's a bit, uh, you know, uh, too much. And uh, I'll move on to uh, the most recurrent or top used hashtags. And again, as you notice, this. Uh, Fake news comes first, but also uh, MAGA, which is Make America Great Again, is re has been uh, among the top, which again shows you that um, most of the, those who talk about fake news are Trump followers uh, praising him, and uh, as well as uh, conservatives, Make America Great Again as a term, but also CNN. CNN has been specifically targeted for many reasons. In my view, it's because CNN has been very critical of Trump, and that was one of the ways of uh, you know, showing that CNN is, is a fake news organization organization. Okay. And of course, the last one is Trump 2020, which is a lot of followers were preparing for a Trump re-election. 
And this is like, again, pre oh, I have one minute, okay. So this is the preliminary, preliminary finding. Most of the top users are uh, pro-Trump, less are anti-Trump. Now, I just want to show you this. This is from the pro-Trump uh, users. This is one of the top ones. And here there is a, a clear reference to Canada, uh, uh, again, uh, attacking Canada. But notice the, uh, that's something I wanted to mention, the user. His, his, his name is Captain Kikistan, which was something very new to me. And uh, when I re did some kind of research, I found that these are actually alt-right uh, followers or uh, members. And they use the word Kikistan as a code term in order to uh, in order not to be banned on Instagram and elsewhere. And so it's a whole new field, but the word Kik and Kikistan has been very much recurrent. And the opposite is this. This is anti-Trump followers. And um, I think my time is up, but they use both of them. Yeah, they, they all use uh, hashtags to attack each other. Thank you very much for this.